I watched an absolutely heartbreaking thing about the current state of the pandemic in India. People are literally dying in the streets. There's not enough doctors. They've got medicine, but they don't have doctors to administer the medicine. And the whole situation there is just screwed up. And I wanted to help out. And at the same time right now, Vietnam is going through another outbreak. I can't go back to my normal job to make money to live here right now. And other than teaching, uh, the only way that I make money is on YouTube. And I wanted to figure out the best way that I could help you guys. The plan that I've devised is that today is May 7th and for the rest of this week, the next seven videos that I make and share, uh, all of the proceeds from them for the month of May are going to be doubled. I'm gonna donate, I'm gonna double whatever we raise with my own money uh, and send that to some relief efforts in India. And we'll talk about that in the comment section. And the way you guys can help is by sharing my videos because ultimately uh, I make money from my videos through watch time and through uh, people sharing them and, and them getting more views. So the best thing that I can do is ask you guys to share these videos. Uh, and I don't care if you watch them, if you mute them, but the money that I raise from them this month is going to be doubled and then donated to relief efforts in India. And let's just hop into this video. Xin chào mọi Mitchell here. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about the leaks, tips, and rumors that we have of Xiaomi's new upcoming tablet, but first, coffee. Did you guys know that Vietnam is the world's second largest exporter of coffee? Fun fact. So we have some rumors from XDA developers, uh, from people that have been digging through the new MIUI 12.5 update, and they have found evidence of Xiaomi launching three new tablets. Now, rumor has it, and from tips and leakers in China that Xiaomi is gonna be trying to launch three new tablets, trying to take on Samsung and Huawei in China. Although Huawei doesn't have uh, a lot of international tablets because of the Google services ban, uh, Xiaomi is looking to fill that gap because after the Google services ban from Huawei, oh, sorry. And after Huawei has begun to contract from the global market, uh, Xiaomi is looking to take the place of Huawei in all areas, which is why we had the Mi 11 Ultra because Huawei isn't launching one of their flagships globally this year. And we don't know if Huawei is gonna be doing that. So Xiaomi is trying to fill the niche that Huawei is leaving behind. And that includes tablets. Now Huawei launched a variety of tablets in the past and Huawei tablets have always been pretty good solid devices. But Huawei, more importantly than anything else, has had tablets in the high-end, mid-range, and low-end. And from the rumors and from what we have from XDA developers, Xiaomi is gonna be launching one of these tablets with a Snapdragon 865 Plus or Snapdragon 870. They're the same SOC, so don't at me in the comments. It's also likely that we're gonna have an 860 or 855, 855 Plus variant of one of these chipsets in the lower end of these tablets, which is gonna be a first for Xiaomi because in the past, Xiaomi had always given us uh, a mid-range, either Media MediaTek or an Nvidia chipset in their tablets. And I know a thing or two about Xiaomi tablets and I'm actually gonna be doing a whole video about trying to bring my Mi Pad 4 back from the dead, including ROM, trying to find a screen replacement and just seeing if I can get life and usability out of this old tablet, which I don't really use anymore. And if you guys want to see that video, make sure you subscribe. Essentially what we know from this is that Xiaomi is working on a tablet optimized version of MIUI, which is quite interesting being that their cell phone or folding phone, the Mi Mix Fold is currently running a version of MIUI that has some desktop replacement functionality in regards to being able to launch all of your Android apps in a desktop mode, although that firmware hasn't been pushed out yet. And if you guys wanna see a really interesting review of the Mi Mix Fold, you might wanna check out Mr. Mobile. Uh, he did a review and I'll link his video uh, up here or in the comment section down below. But we know that Xiaomi is working on a more tablet optimized version along with a set of tablet optimized apps 
for the Mi Pad or whatever they launch these series in. Now, we also know that the Mi Pad series is gonna come with four cameras. And at the uppermost variant, we're looking at a 48 megapixel camera, an ultra wide, and a depth sensor. So more likely than not, we're gonna have either the same or a very similar set of cameras to what we currently have on, let's say, the Redmi K40 Poco F3, which on a phone, I don't really think they're great cameras, but on a tablet, I think those cameras are gonna be more than usable. Real quick, if you guys like my videos, I currently can't work. Uh, Vietnam is going through another COVID outbreak, and the best way that you guys can support me is by subscribing, setting up tips in your Brave browser and donating some of your crypto to me, or uh, using my affiliate links for Surfshark VPN or any of the other things you might wanna buy on AliExpress in the description down below. And right now YouTube is the only way I can make money here. And it's really, really appreciated. Now we also know that these tablets are gonna have an 8,700 milliamp hour battery, which is really, really big. In fact, the tablet that I have on my Mi Pad, the battery that I have on my Mi Pad 4 is a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, which now that doesn't seem like that big of a battery if my uh, Xiaomi Mi 10 has a 4,700 milliamp hour battery and my Redmi Note 10 has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So an 8,700 milliamp hour battery on Xiaomi's next tablet means we're gonna get great battery life from it. The next thing that we know about it is the resolution of the screens. Now, the resolution for one of the screens is gonna be in 1600 by 800. Hold on. A few moments later. So on the screen front, we know that these tablets uh, are likely, or from what we know right now, gonna support a 2560 by 1600 uh, resolution front display. It's going to be an LCD display from everything that we know so far, and it's going to be a 120 hertz LCD display, which is great to see a high display rate on a tablet. Yet we do know from the past and Xiaomi's high refresh rate technology that in regards to being variable refresh rate or being adaptive refresh rate, a lot of that software from Xiaomi is absolutely horrible still and it's a forced 120 hertz at all times with very, very little in the way of adapt, adaptive refresh rate, which could be a reason why they're gonna have such a big battery. And you guys know that I can't really tell the difference with a lot of that stuff. I'll probably run those tablets at 60 hertz if I end up getting one. Now, something that I think we all need to think about, consider, and talk about really fast is the fact that these tablets are gonna be running a MIUI for or optimized for tablets. Now, I did a video a while back about why Google is actually trying to kill Android tablets because of Chrome OS. So we don't really have much in the way of optimization for tablet interface uh, in Android. Like Android on a large screen is pretty bad. So if you guys wanna get the most out of these tablets, you're gonna be relying on a lot of Xiaomi's built-in apps take advantage of that extra screen real estate. Now, for people that like MIUI, I think this is gonna be a great thing because we're gonna have a lot of those features and a lot of the, the apps that we have from MIUI optimized for a larger scale. That said, uh, we still are gonna be missing a lot of tablet specific apps just in the Android ecosystem in general. The way Xiaomi may or may not combat this is by giving us a desktop mode similar to what we have on the Mi Mix Fold, but whether or not we actually get a lot of added functionality out of this is left up to be seen. Now from the leaks, we do know that we're going to be getting one of these tablets with LTE or a uh, internet modem, I guess we could say, internet modem. We do know we do know from these leaks that we're going to be having one of these tablets with LTE or possibly 5G, depending upon what Xiaomi wants to do with the Qualcomm modem in the Snapdragon 865. It's more likely than not that the uh, cellular version of it is going to have 5G, whether or not that's millimeter wave, sub six, we have no idea. And another thing is whether or not these tablets are gonna be set up for the international market. We do know that in the past, Xiaomi has released most of these tablets 
in China. And if Xiaomi is trying to take over the international kind of market space, it's pretty likely that we're gonna see one of these high-end tablets with Google services, with things like a keyboard cover or with things that would more or less kind of aim it at taking on Samsung as well as Apple. So you could expect things like a keyboard cover as an accessory, uh, like S Pen or Qualcomm digitizer support uh, for the tablet, which would be a set of features which I personally think would be great and I would love to see. But really, I wanna know what you guys think. I mean, do you guys want a Xiaomi tablet? If it's, let's say, under $400 with a Snapdragon, 865, 120 hertz LCD display, 8,000 milliamp hour or 8,700 milliamp hour battery. Is that enough for you guys to get a Xiaomi tablet? In my case, personally, I will probably get it to review, but whether or not I have a use for this is kind of left up to be seen. If you guys want me to buy it, let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell. Peace.